the administration knew about it and shows disregard for the board itself. You might as well take these policies and go out and have a start a fire with them in a garbage field because they don't mean anything. This took a on of the Riddley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com So a decision was made to eliminate course offerings without going through the approval of this board by the, the, with the way they did the RIF notices here. And, and I have to echo what Committee Lankin is saying. I'm very disappointed with, with what I'm seeing here and the process that this took. And it echoes right along with what Committee Menbaudry was saying about our policies not being followed and things being done by the administration without the approval of the board that are in clear violation of, of the the mandates of, of our policies. I, I just have to make one last comment on, as far as the EL students, that after listening to what Mr. Tersey just stated, it almost seems like he wasn't even in the loop on these changes. And, um, you know, for the curriculum coordinator not to even be in the loop and making a significant change like that without anybody knowing about it, basically, I, I think it's unacceptable. And program that, that should be rescinded to the schools and that should be vetted out through committee assignments and this assistant superintendent of curriculum should definitely be on top of this one way or the other. Thank you. Thank you. Just for clarification, I was part of that process. These ideas were run by me as well as conversations with uh, Dr. Brennan, and the superintendent of schools. So, Madam Chairman, that, that upsets me even more now. That the administration knew about it and shows disregard for the board itself. That we have you might as well take these policies and go out and have a start a fire with them in a garbage field because they don't mean anything. You know, it is extremely frustrating that something this important and this big of a change wasn't even brought to the attention of anybody on this committee. I, I guess my, my, my concern about that, I, I would like to have more information because this piece of paper doesn't tell me whether it's a proposal or whether it's a policy. It's, I, would, I, I, would, I would ask the... So the administration bring that forward to the next season. Mr. Jersey was on part of that committee. It, this this was told to the EL that they, they would be enacting this this way of putting the people in. That's what they were told. I, I, I'm going to I'm going to end the. Mr. Jersey, do you want to answer the question? I, I think I'm chairing the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Bordery. I I think I I would not. I don't want to go further with this discussion. I think it's I don't think it gets us anywhere. I would like there to be answers to your questions. I don't disagree that your questions are important. However, I would like to do it at the appropriate time and place, and I would ask that be the next CNI committee. Thank you. Um, I, I, I thank you. I move to adjourn. And we have a second. I'm, I'm really not up. I want an answer. Personally, I, I want an answer from the assistant superintendent of curriculum. Was he aware that this change was implemented and not notifying the board? Mr. I wasn't aware that the change took place. As I said, it was a collaborative effort among the teachers and the principals. And I did not see that it was going to the board level because of we're looking at specific programming when we're looking at EL. I didn't see it fall under that same policy. It doesn't fall under instruction 127? Graduation? These kids don't graduate? They're supposed to be mainstream. That's the whole thing with EL, EL programs. They're supposed to be mainstreaming these students into, into our regular curriculum. The EL is just a, a support mechanism so that they can integrate into the, into the uh, full curriculum. And so you're saying that, that that didn't need to come back to the board. That wasn't a significant change.